So hey guys, if you are new here, my name is Roshan and I am a second year BCom honor student here at SRCC Delhi University. So uh, this video is going to be a hostel tour video where uh, I'll be te telling you everything about the boys hostel. As many of my juniors suggested me to make a hostel tour video, so here I am giving you a proper hostel tour. So uh, we have four buildings: uh, A block, B block uh, for boys. A block is for uh, for uh, second and third years, including uh, MCom and GB students, and we uh, and we have uh, B block, which is only for first years. Then we have two buildings for girls also. Uh, the the first one is uh, old girls hostel, which is known as uh, Shri Ram Memorial uh, Girls Hostel, and then we have the new uh, new girls hostel building. Uh, so right now I am in the A block, which is my own block. So I'll be I'll be giving you a proper A block tour. So stay tuned. When you enter the hostel gate, the first thing you'll get is this small park where students can enjoy refreshing time, study, and exercise. The park in the hostel compound adds vibrancy to the hostel, and any function of the hostel will be done here only. Very soon, we're gonna have freshers party here for the upcoming juniors. Uh, and the first person that will find every time when you enter the hostel is our guard bhaiya. So uh, actually, he's our morning guard bhaiya, Tiwari ji, and he's really strict regarding each and every rules and regulations. And if you go left side, then you will get water web purifier. There are three types for filling water, and just opposite of it, you will see the mess room. So the hostel has a separate mess where, at a time, about 70 residents can take their meals. The mess is fully air conditional. It is managed by the residents under the supervision of the warden and operated on a cost basis. And here, you will be having a common fridge. You can access till this uh, till the time mess is open. And the menu is decided by the, by the student council only. Uh, the meal timing are as follows: breakfast from 8:15 a.m. to 9:15 a.m., lunch from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., and dinner from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. The mess timing may change uh, depending upon the situation. We talk about the hostel food. Uh, so when you join the hostel, initially they will give you the best food that that you can ever imagine. But after a few weeks, you will get you will get to know the real taste of the hostel food, which which is actually average only. And uh, if you talk about the non-vegetarian food, so here you will get the chicken twice a week on only at night at uh, on Wednesday and Friday. Uh, but uh, the cost of the non-vegetarian food will be added to the individual mess bill of individual mess bill. And here you have to pay the mess bill after every three months. So uh, and and uh, the ex, uh, the mess bill is calculated on the basis of actual expenditure incurred uh, of the total mess. And then, if you go straight after guard pair chair, you will get common room. For the recreation of students, the hostel has a fully air conditional common room. Upon resident can sit and enjoy leisure time there. Newspaper and magazines are provided in the common room. Uh, carom board, chess, and table tennis facilities are also provided to the residents in the common room. A big wall mountain television with home theater effect is also in place for the entertainment of the residents. And here you can see the hostel student union board. So basically, hostel student union assists in the efficient and smooth functioning of the hostel. There are total six posts in the union, uh, that is president, mess secretary, organizing secretary, maintenance secretary, sports secretary, and culture secretary. And there is election for every position, and we're gonna have election for this year also after the arrival of first years. Now after the common room, you will get the first wing. So there are total three wings in the hostel, two wings in the first floor, and one wing in the ground floor. The ground, uh, the ground wing is of third of a uh, third years having 60 rooms, out of which one room is warden room, uh, one is store room, one and there is one single room uh, where they keep the groceries for the mess, and there is 13 rooms of double sharing. If you talk about first floor, it is divided into, into two wings. In the first wing, uh, there are 15 double sharing rooms and one triple sharing, out of which two rooms are for third years, and one room is for GBO and one room uh, and one room is for MCOM. And the rest, all of the rooms are for second years. And if you talk about the second wing, which is connected to balcony, is having 13 rooms, out of which one room is single sharing, and other two rooms are triple sharing, and the rest are double sharing. And the wing is only for second years. And between the wings, uh, there are toilets in both the floors. 
In the ground floor, there are four washrooms, four bathrooms, and two urinals for 28 students. But out of this, one washroom and one bathroom, which is connected to each other, is only for PWD category students. And if you talk about the first floor, there are four washrooms and four bathrooms for 60 students. And each floor has one washing machine. And also in each toilets, there is geyser for hot water. And if you see this area near corridors, uh, there are only residents put their clothes. And that building that you can see is the new girls hostel. It has not been started. It will start after juniors will come. Also, many people also use the area in the balcony to dry clothes. From here, you can see the boys hostel B block and just next to it is, is old girls hostel. So now we will go to our seniors room to see how double sharing room look, look like. So uh, this is room number uh, 8, 12 and yeah, I will first knock. Uh, yeah, can you can you give your room tour? Yeah, yeah, coming, coming. So this is the cell yeah, that I mentioned in my uh, last video. So he'll be giving the room tour of the double sharing room. Yeah, so myself, Mohammed Sahel, I'm a third year student from Ecom Honors. I'm from Kerala, and this is my roommate. And myself, Sridhar Sah, I'm pursuing the third year Ecom Honors course, and I'm also pursuing CA. So yeah, so as you can see, he has an internals coming up next half. So he's preparing for that. So very quickly I'll just give you a room tour. So this is a double sharing room. We have two tables, two chairs. We have two side tables, one which we've used here and one right over there. And apart from that, like we have a cupboard and this is spacious enough. Uh, my stuff, my roommate stuff, everything is here. I know it's kind of messy right now, but it is good enough. And like all my essential items are stored here, I've kept it here. And all my roommate's essentials are here, his books. And as you can see, uh, my roommate does his puja here. And I do my namaz at, the, at this area. So yeah, so this is our room. And we can also you know, use these areas for hanging clothes if you want to hang back. Uh, uh, there's also space behind the door also where you can hang your clothes and stuff and apart from that yeah that's it i would say and if you look at the space and stuff it is not that spacious but overall it is manageable if you are able to keep your stuff very structured and organized then you can make the most out of it and yeah so that's it about the room yeah so thank you Baya, for yeah, sharing it now we will go to Prithip room, uh, that is actually A40, uh, A40, so this is a triple sharing room and this is the guy Prithip Singh, his room is this and this to our out outsiders. Yeah. So Dipesh will introduce uh, to the room. Hello, so this is the biggest triple sharing room in the hostel, see you can have two doors, actually it is a two rooms, so they are combined to make a triple sharing room, then we have three beds. Three tables, chairs, and we have also installed a personal cooler. For a cooler, you have to pay 250 rupees extra if you install in your room. And that's all you can see what the room is. It's quite big. Yeah, it's quite big and spacious also. This is the biggest joker of the entire hostel, Sales Titias. Okay, thank you guys for introducing the room. Bye bye. Very good, sir, medical. <laughs> so if you talk about the yeah, important facilities available in the hostel so if you talk about the network connection so the whole the whole hostel is provided with 24 hours free wi-fi facility and our hostel has has uh, on campus outsource uh, laundry services and if you if you talk about the water quality uh, so uh, the drinking water is, is good here only but if you talk about the water for bathing so if you use that water for your hair, you might you, you can get a heifer also. And uh, the most important facility that is healthcare, healthcare facility. So uh, there is a, a WUS health center. 
it's located just near to our uh, university so there students can go for any any medical uh, support and assistance and also our college our college has has its own uh, medical unit uh, lo uh, uh, located in the sports complex where you can consider a doctor for any sm small uh, medical assistance and support so now the most important part of the video uh, like what is the procedure for getting admission in the uh, boys hostel so first uh, the hostel will release the we will release the hostel forms in the college website so you have to download that form from there only and there you will get uh, three three form like uh, three part of the form uh, form uh, a b and c so in form a you have to provide your personal details and qualification details in form b you have to give your details of your local guardian uh, who lives in delhi and then you have to provide in the form c you have to provide details of your five close relatives whom college whom also can contact in the case of emergency then you have to provide a proof of your present residence residence uh, it can be uh, your aadhar card or ration card or any other equivalent document then you have to provide self attested copy of the following documents uh, those documents are first is your ccd score card then your uh, mark sheet of your qualification examination then uh, 10 mark sheet uh, then uh, uh, college fee slip and then a category certificate if applicable and then an extra 3 on stamp paper so what is, so what is an extra 3 so uh, it's it is a stamp paper uh, where it, uh, it it is a proof that the information which you are providing uh, are are true and correct and not are, and are not false so uh, you can make this document by contacting any of the advocate you know or uh, by visiting to your local court so in this uh, annexure it will be mentioned that uh, none of the parents uh, none of none of your parents uh, are having any house property in the in the uh, uh, national capital capital territory of delhi or uh, the specified regions so the specified regions are uh, faridabad gautam buddha nagar gurgaon gazabad sonipat bahadurgarh and bagpat and also if your parents are working in any of these areas so you will not be eligible to get admission in the hostel so uh, yeah so if either of your parents are working there or residing there then uh, you'll not be able to uh, get admission in the hostel and lastly you have to attach the uh, address proof of your local guardian so uh, yeah so basically you have to fill uh, a form a b and c and uh, uh, and then you have to attach all the required enclosures and then you have to submit uh, the, uh, all this in the college web in the in the through online or offline mode yeah and then after uh, after few days the hostel will release a, a, a release a list of selected candidates or uh, and also the uh, list of students who are in waiting in the in the college website or in the hostel and also in the hostel notice and they will also mention uh, on which date you have to come uh, uh, for physical verification so uh, so on that day you have to uh, you have to show all your uh, all your uh, documents uh, in physical and also uh, and you have to bring your uh, either of the parents or your local guardian with you and then after payment of your college fees you will be allotted a room so this is the whole procedure of getting admission in the hostel and also uh, 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 the students who are who got admission through uh, obc quota or ews quota or kashmiri migrant they will be considered as general uh, uh, in the case of hostel admissions we will also discuss about the uh, uh, what is a hostel expenditure so uh, uh, for our batch when you, when we are in first years when i run the hostel i have to pay 45400 but surprisingly uh, for this batch they are asking for 70000 annually and also we have uh, you have to pay monthly expenses uh, uh, so uh, i i i will tell you my uh, last ex last three month expense last last three month bill that i that i paid to the hostel so it was around 19816 out of which 15456 was for food 80 was uh, like if you if you took if you if you're eating chicken so per day you have to pay uh, uh, 80 rupees so i took chicken only for one day so i had to pay 80 rupees only uh, in all the three months and then uh, for electricity i paid 2576 for three months and for uh, water also i, I had paid 1748 for three months so if you add add all this it will come up at 19860 
सो यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ हाउ कॉस्टली और हाउ चीपर द हॉस्टल इज एंड देन एंड यू कैन डिसाइड वेदर टू जॉइन हॉस्टल और नॉट और यू कैन ऑल्सो गो फॉर पी जी इन द सेम रेंज एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू द स्टूडेंट्स हुआ फ्रॉम फिजिकल बी डब्ल्यू डी कैटेगरी लाइक पर्सन विद डिसबिलिटी फ्रॉम दैम द होल एनुअल फीस इज एग्जेमटेड बट दे हैव टू पे द मंथली एक्सपेंसिज सो नाउ वी विल आल्सो सीनियर्स टू से सम गुड थिंग्स और सम बैड थिंग्स अबाउट द हॉस्टल सो डैट यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ गुड और हाउ बैड हॉस्टल विल बी फॉर यू and you can decide whether to join hostel or not okay so the good thing about hostel is that uh, you will get to know many people and you have to live with them for 9 to 10 months so they will become great friends of yours and they are from all over india okay and uh, another thing is that when you live in hostel na uh, you have like 100 people around you so you can get things you can arrange things like if you don't have a formal shoe if you don't have a formal shirt if you don't have a kurta if you don't have istri if you don't have a uh, bluetooth speaker <laughs> and uh, induction and all you can always arrange them okay uh, these things it just keeps uh, you know rotating in all over the hostel so that's a good thing and the bad thing is that uh, as i said uh, friends will be closer in hostel than in in your classmates than your classmates so they don't let you study okay yeah well those who can isolate themselves that's the different thing but normal guys like me people come in my room every time and they all kind of disturb me like this roshan <laughs> like asking for reviews i was doing my lecture and he disturbed me so this thing can yeah. happen every day thank you for sharing it <laughs> <laughs> very important for the students <laughs> uh, yeah so the best thing for me personally about our hostel is the football ground the football ground is like very near to our hostel so whenever you feel like to play football you can just walk off and play football and like and if there's anyone who's interested to join football team it will also be very convenient for them you can like join for training early morning and then after training you can go to the mess have some good food have shower and go back to class so overall it brings a lot of convenience to your life still for us so far has been yeah it's okay but uh, for you guys it would not be that much worth it because your fees <laughs> fees has been increased and uh, i don't think it's not that much worth and uh, yeah the thing is that you get free time still and there are other luxuries as well like you can just get uh, set up to class at 8:25 for 8:30 class yeah like that advantage is of uh, convenience so if you are pursuing any ca and upsc your time is a very constant manner so you have to utilize it very properly so if we live in a hostel then we we can go classes and if the classes cancelled so we can come to the study room or we can study here or we can go in a library to uh, study and we will, you can manage your time very efficiently and a timely manner that's it there is only one big disadvantage is that the summer is very horrible like if you have a cooler if you have a fan too but you will sweat in a night time in the morning time you will have it uh, you will have the ac in the classes and the library that's okay but at a night time it's really horrible Yeah, so I I hope I have covered everything uh, about the boys' hostel. Best of luck, you guys, and uh, I hope to meet you very soon. Bro, you should first knock. <laughs> no manner. <laughs> you should knock. No manner. Seriously? Yeah, you should. The knock. recording. Okay. Abey, I'm not going to do that. You should knock and he should stay. Abey. You didn't say that, right? You need. I'm a second year student in B. Com. Only. Just doing for you. This. Chill out, boy. Ah, boy. I'm saying boy. This is gonna be a hostel tour video. As many juniors are requesting me to make a proper hostel tour. So here I am, giving a proper hostel tour video. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Fuck off. <laughs>